Hi, I'm Mike Redenbaugh, the leader of Bell Helicopter. And I want to share with you that we've just achieved another major milestone for our business and for all the people that make up the Bell family. We've been notified that the V-22 has successfully passed the full rate production decision, which marks a major accomplishment by everyone on this team. It is so important to reflect on what we have gone through to get to this point in time. From the XV-3, the XV-15, and the V-22, the dedicated men and women at Bell Helicopter for decades have been making investments into tilt rotor technologies. I'm proud to be the leader of Bell Helicopter. I hope each and every one of you is very proud to be part of the Bell team, and we have a very prosperous future ahead of us. I think everybody since the, the beginning of aviation, people have always dreamed of being able to just leap right from where you're at and then fly like an airplane. We knew that we had an airplane that's going to be something someday. And I truly believe that to, the, to this day. I believe tilt rotor technology is uniquely American. I don't think any other uh, country could have developed this technology, which makes me more proud as an American to be a part of its uh, development and uh, implementation into our operating forces. There's a great leap forward in manufacturing technology. There's a big leap forward in the fly-by-wire that controls that aircraft. Big leap forward in how to manage the aircraft. The V-22 is the number one program uh, for Marine Corps aviation. Uh, once the Marines and the, the Air Force and the Navy learn what its capabilities are and adjust their tactics to embrace all of its capabilities, uh, it's going to change the way we fly and fight. When you see the Marines come in, they're looking, they're in awe, they're, and they want to ask every question. They want to know every little thing. So, yeah, I think they're very excited about the whole thing. It's fun to watch them. You can read all about tilt rotors. You can hear another pilot talk about it all day long. But until you make that first flight and do your first conversion, that's when it really makes a believer of you. Tilt rotor technology probably go well into the 21st century. I think it's a wonderful concept. I think it'll be around for decades to come. It really makes you happy to see it fly. It's been teamwork from the word go. And it's all the way from the shop, and it went all the way to the top. I really think is uh, wherever our imagination goes, this technology will go there. It's a great feeling watching them fly. It, uh, it, it, it can give you goosebumps, if, especially the first few when we were here early on. The first two or three that we saw fly were, were very emotional. There's no way not to get emotional about the V-22. We know, looking at the capability that the V-22 is going to offer, that there's going to be a lot of men and women's lives saved because of the capability that we bring to it. And my son's going to be one of those. With the approval of the V-22 to begin full rate production, I thought it was important for all of us to sit back and think about what really happened here. What really happened here was decades of dedication, determination, hard work, and commitment by the men and women of Bell Helicopter and all across Textron to create the most unique equipment in the world to do the warfighter's mission. This program is so important to such a wide constituency. Think about it for a minute. To the men and women at Bell, it represents years and years and probably decades of growth. To the warfighter, it offers an opportunity to win in every major confrontation around the world in almost any environment. To our shareholders, it represents a long-term steady growth potential. To the communities that we work in, it represents jobs, the creation of jobs and value for the community. So when I think about the V-22, I reflect about some of the obstacles we had to overcome. I ask myself the question, 
How can we put more of this drive, initiative, perseverance into every man and every woman at Textron? Because when we do, and we will, we will indeed get to Premier. So to all of you that have had a little bit or a lot of effort involved in the V-22, I say bravo, congratulations, job well done.